Spooky Radionics Operation Manual Introduction Thank you for purchasing a Spooky Radionics machine. Spooky Radionics has been designed to be used with the Spooky 2 Rife Therapy System. The aim of Spooky Radionics is to be an affordable entry-level radionics device to be used by beginners and experts alike. There are a number of radionics systems on the market, but there is a genuine lack of affordable instruments. This prevents many people from exploring the practice of radionics and experiencing all the rewards it can offer. Radionics from its early days of Abrams and Drown has been primarily used as a healing tool for both diagnostics and treatment. The term radionics is derived from radiation and to put simply electronics. It is essentially the science and technology of natural and biological radiations. At the point of its inception, radionics was an offshoot of electrotherapy, and relied solely on physical patient contact with electrodes to diagnose and balance the patient. Shortly after this point Abrams discovered that he could achieve similar effects just by placing a biological DNA sample of the patient in the specimen well, and treat them from any distance. Following the widespread use of radio the term broadcasting was coined to reflect the similar communication over distance by unseen means. For diagnosis radionics primarily relies on radiesthesia either via duct the use of a pendulum or a similar dousing implement, or the general radionics stick pad, also known as a rubbing plate, or reactor plate. It is from analyzing a sample, tuning of the dials and checking for a reaction that rates are determined. Rates are radionics terminology for a set of specific numbers that correspond to a position on the tuning dials. There are a number of rate systems from base 10, base 44, base 100 etc. Spooky Radionics uses the most common base 10. The base number simply refers to the number of positions and digits a given dial has. It is worth noting that the term frequency rate is often used, but it should also be highlighted that a radionic rate is not the same as the Hartesian frequency that life systems use. Radionics is a non-physical discipline while the Hartesian frequencies will target physical aspects. Radionics treats the non-physical, subtle, or energy body. It is used as part of a holistic healing approach and should not be solely relied upon. While many beneficial and seemingly miraculous effects have been observed with radionics it is always worthwhile conducting multiple therapy approaches to complement your healing practice. Feature Spooky Radionics is a very simple device to operate. The input and output plates are clearly labeled, as are the input and output sockets on the back. The dials are tuned from left to right. There are three base 10 dials for basic diagnostics and tuning into samples. We will cover various operation procedures later in this manual. There is one red indicator LED light in the center of the board. This will flash with various frequencies that are put into the device. Technical When running spooky radionics there are a few technical aspects to observe. Power It is recommended that you use the supply power adapter that comes with your spooky generator to power it. This ensures the most reliable operation. It will work powered directly by USB, but it puts a strain on the generator and spooky radionics will not be working at maximum efficiency. All points herein refer to using spooky radionics with an XM generator, power cable, and single spooky radionics with no peripheral attachments. Amplitude It is recommended that you use the highest available amplitude setting on the XM generator which is 20V. This ensures that spooky radionics is receiving the most amount of power the generator can handle allowing the device to operate at full capacity. Boost Boost will work with spooky radionics, it's still experimental. However it is advised that for best performance a high quality BNC cable is used to connect the output of the XM to the input of spooky radionics. Waveforms All waveforms work well with the apparatus, however the most power output is derived from using square waves. Again at this early stage more experimentation is required and we encourage users to submit their results. For the best diagnostic and treatment response sine waves should be used. Frequencies in testing we have found that the device has a sweet spot of 0-100 Hz and 10 kHz all the way up to high MHz range. It would seem that spooky radionics responds well to brainwave frequency 0-40 Hz. Of course it takes the full spooky frequency range with ease. 
cables it has been noted that the device cuts out from time to time as the red light stops working, this is remedied when the cable is adjusted. This only seems to happen with low quality cables. We recommend high quality professional grade BNC cables. Audio and visual store should supply a quality selection for you to choose from. It is recommended that the user does not exceed a cable length of more than 50 cm, the shorter the better. In the future Burkana Labs may offer a custom cable service to create cables suited to your needs. Remedy Maker We will now take a look at what you can use Spooky Radionics for and the procedure involved. First of all we will outline the steps for making an energy medicine remedy. You can use the Spooky database here to program Rive based frequencies into your remedy or you can simply set a base frequency on your generator 7.83 Hz Schumann is a good start. For the purposes of this introduction we will look at creating a remedy for nausea using an essential oil in the Spooky database. 1. Power up the Spooky generator and software as described in the Spooky manual and connect a BNC cable for the generator's OUT1 to Spooky Radionics input socket. 2. From the Spooky database type in Nausea Sickness and select all the frequencies you wish to use. For the waveform use a sine wave, set amplitude to 20V. No need to alter offset, duty or phase, these all stay as default. Do not set the frequencies to run just yet. You need to prepare your remedy first. 3. Use a clean glass vial or dropper bottle to make up your remedy in. These can easily be found on eBay at a good price or from homeopathic suppliers. You must use a sealed bottle to make the remedy and otherwise you could risk shorting the circuit if it is spilled. Fill the bottle up with pure distilled water and add a few drops of green alcohol to preserve the remedy. If you do not intend to store the remedy you may omit the alcohol. Place the sealed bottle on the output plate of your radionics machine. 4. Ginger is commonly used for combating nausea and sickness so you can place a sealed bottle of ginger essential oil on the input plate or fresh ginger in a sample bottle. 5. Return to the spooky software and run the frequencies. The LED on the radionics device will light up indicating that the frequencies are passing through the machine. While the spooky set is running it will be transferring the substance of the object on the input plate to the blank sample on the output plate, this is called imprinting and the result will be a remedy that contains the energetic signature of the ginger essential oil and the various rife frequencies you are using to drive the device. 6. Leave this to run until at least the first full set of frequencies have been cycled through. If you are using only one frequency then a minute run time is okay. Personally I prefer to run for as long as I can as it ensures the blank water sample has reached saturation point. That's a simple method of making a remedy. The same process can be used to copy remedies as well. To copy replace the oil with a remedy and then print to a new blank sample. Instead of water you may find sugar pills useful. However, we find that water is the most impressionable substance. Do remember that it has a shelf life and should be used as soon as it is made. If you omit the alcohol the water will eventually degrade and be unusable. Of course ginger is just an example. If you wish to just use frequencies then nothing needs to be placed on the input plate. Many other remedies can be created. Broadcasting like with spooky remote, radionics can be used to transmit therapy from a distance using a biological sample or a witness as we call it. This generally takes the form of a blood spot, nail clipping, or hair sample. You may prepare your witness in the same way it is prepared for the remote using nail clippings. For broadcasting we will introduce tuning using the dials. You will need to use a pendulum to judge the reactions, though the output plate can be used a basic stick pad. So for that the purposes of this instruction we will look at using the output plate as a rubbing surface for the stick pad. One. Power up the Spooky generator and software as described in the Spooky manual, and connect a BNC cable for the generator's OUT1 to Spooky Radionics input socket. 2. From the Spooky database select all the frequencies you wish to use. For the waveform use a sine wave, set amplitude to 20V. No need to alter offset, duty or phase, these all stay as default. 
set the frequencies to now run immediately. The LED on the radionics device will light up indicating that the frequencies are passing through the machine. 3. Place the witness sample on the input plate. With all the tuning dials set to zero, begin from first dial on the left and start to tune. 4. With the middle finger of your right hand resting gently on the output plate begin to lightly and slowly stroke the surface from side to side while slowly tuning the dial at about the same rate. You will notice that your finger will stick at a point, when this happens stop tuning that dial, and move on to the next one until you have all three tuned. 5. Now the witness has been tuned into, place the witness sample on the output plate you were just using as a stick pad. While the spooky set is running it will be transferring the frequencies to the witness, and that will be broadcasting to the patient. 6. An operator will usually determine length of time to broadcast by dousing the correct time. You may refer to guidelines outlined in the spooky manual for dealing with the remote. Rates The radionic rates of spooky radionics are tuned on the three base 10 dials at the front of the instrument. Base 10 simply refers to the 10 digits on each dial. Other instruments can operate on base 100 or base 44 principles. In theory any number can be used, but we use base 10 here as standard. The operator will start with the first dial on the left. They will hold a pendulum in one hand and the dial in the other. The operator begins to slowly turn the dial from 0 to 10 at the same time. What the operator is looking for is a confirmation swing of the pendulum. When that swing is noted, the operator ceases tuning that dial and leaves it at its current location. If a full turn of the dial has been completed, and still no confirmation swing in the pendulum has been noted, then you simply tune the dial in reverse from 10 to 0 until a swing is noted. If there is still no confirmation then that dial should be set and recorded as 0. The operator continues the tuning process with the other two dials in series, until they are all set. Creating rates in order to create rates with a spooky radionics device to catalog for later use, you will need to round up or down to the nearest digit on each dial. It helps to use a little intuition here, if the pointer is directly between 4 and 5 for instance, you intuit whether it should be set to 4 or 5, perhaps even use the pendulum or stick reaction again. Alternatively you could use the classic mathematical process of rounding up from the halfway point. By recording your own rates you can save time during future operations, by simply turning the dials to the numbers without having to use a pendulum or stick pad. Personally I prefer to douse the rates for each operation as subtle energetic signatures tend to change over time. Rate programming because spooky radionics has three dials, most people assume that only three digit rates can be programmed into the instrument. You can program longer rates into the instrument by putting in three digits at a time and broadcasting, or transferring to a remedy solution. Say you had a rate. 17,890,234 you would program 178 into the instrument first, then after a period of time 902, and broadcast as before, then 340. You will note that the zero is added as it is unused. In some ways you can get away with only using the first three digits of a rate, it works for me, but others may prefer to use the longer more detailed approach. Balance rates The balance rate is used to reverse a condition. For example if you were to tune into the target's witness sample seeking the cause of the condition you could then balance it, and the balance rate could then be imprinted to a remedy or broadcast back to the target to alleviate the cause of the condition. 1. Tune into the target's witness sample that is placed on the input plate using the methods described previously. 2. Let's assume for this example that you have tuned into the numbers 497 on the dials. Now to set the balance rate you need to subtract these numbers from the base number in this case 10, or the dial's maximum range. 3. 10 minus 4 equals 6, 10 minus 9 equals 1, and finally 10 minus 7 equals 3. From this we can say that the balance rate for the cause of the condition is 613.4. To broadcast this complementary balance rate to the target from the witness sample you used to analyze and generate the rate, simply remove the witness sample from the input and place it on the output for broadcasting 5. If you wish to make a remedy from the balance rate, 
Then remove the target sample from the input plate, and place your remedy solution on the output plate for imprinting. Manifestation engine using spooky radionics for wish fulfillment, or manifestation is not so different to using it as an alternative health tool. The simplest way is to write down your intention on a piece of paper, place it on the input plate, and tune into it, then broadcast it to a biological target sample on the output plate. I will highlight a procedure step by step for the example of selling a house one. We will use a vinyl or dropper bottle of pure water fixed with a few drops of drinking alcohol, vodka works well for me. This is simply to preserve the water. Furthermore the spirit resonates on all three spheres of reality, physical, mental, and etheric, so helps to impart the programmed information over all the levels. Take your vial of water and place it on the output plate too. Write out a written intention. Your intention needs to be written as if the result has already occurred, for example this house has now sold. Place the written intention on the input plate and tune into the intention with the instrument dials using your pendulum or stick pad. Some people can even stop where they feel the dials want to stop tuning and have success with this. It's a good idea to focus on your intention while you tune the dials. 3. With your dials tuned, your intention on the input plate, and your water vial on the output plate let the operation run for 5-10 minutes, more is preferable. After this time remove the water solution from the output plate. Optional Steps 1. With the instrument still set up and tuned from the previous operation simply add a target sample to the output plate and broadcast for a period of time, 24 hours in this mode would be good. For the purpose of selling the house I would use a photograph of the house that you have written sold on, and a vial of soil, brick, or wood chipping from the property. All three would be a powerful combination. Include the owner's biological sample in the mix too. Personally I would use both approaches, the water solution and the target sample in this situation. With the water solution you can split it into two vials, add one vial to a spray bottle of pure water, and suck a shake a few times. The spray bottle can be sprayed around the property, over the for sale sign etc. The other vial can be consumed, a few drops taken daily to anchor it in the physical via the consciousness of the homeowner. The broadcast works on the mental etheric, and will work instantly, in the case of the property it will take a couple of weeks to filter down. There really is no limit to what can be achieved, it just requires a little ingenuity and thought. Don't be afraid to try different things. If it doesn't work, try something else. The nature of radionics, means that it often works differently for each individual. Care and maintenance spooky radionics requires very little maintenance. Before cleaning make sure the BNC cable connecting the radionics device to the XM generator is unplugged and any peripherals unplugged from the output socket. To clean the unit a soft cloth will normally suffice, and if necessary a slightly damp one. I would avoid using any detergents or proprietary cleaners. To clean out the sockets and between the boards, just dust with a clean paint brush, or use compressed air. The neoprene grip base can be cleaned with a damp lint-free cloth. Spooky radionics is not waterproof so protect it from water. When using the water-based remedy solutions, make sure it is prepared away from the instrument and in a sealed vial or bottle. If water does get into the unit it may cause an electrical fault. Conclusion I hope that you have found this manual helpful. I would appreciate any feedback, or additions you would like to see for a revised edition. If you have any question feel free to email me at admin at berkanalabs.com If I get the same question recurring I will include an FAQ section in the second edition. Once again I hope you enjoy working with your instrument, and that it serves you well for years to come. We are testing some frequency sweeps to run with spooky radionics from the spooky software and hope to have these submitted to John White for the database. These sweeps can be used as general run programs instead of specific RIFE frequencies. In the meantime if you want to experiment with your own frequencies, details are clearly laid out in the Spooky software. You can purchase Spooky Radionics by following this link, Spooky Radionics Kind Regards, Adam Burkana Labs.